It's a mess, but it's real. Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today I'm trying to find my journal under the mass of mess that has been my desk for the last few days. With all the creating and all the building of journals and the energy that has been in this craft room over the last few weeks. Oh, here it is. The journal. Woohoo! Almost complete on the front and looking rather good if I do say so myself. Very inspiring now to just be able to open it up and oh, the first page. The first page is always a bit scary. I don't normally find that a massive problem but I am finding a little bit, uh, a little bit of anxiety about this first page. I've got my prompts here. This is purely if I get stuck, but I have seen this number 10 paint and peonies jump out at me. And that was the prompt for today. So this is one of the things here where I've got sewing and it's threatening to weaken the paper. So I want to strengthen that down with a bit of a collage. So I'm almost thinking that should be my first page and I might tackle the first first page with something else as I go through and, and maybe that will be the more impact page and fit to the theme. Um, so if you haven't seen the journal, it's all in part one, two, three and four of the botan of the French Linen Botanical Journals in the playlist there. So if you've been following along, you will see that I have finally put it all together and here we have it. So it's got some nice little bits here. We're going to add flips and folds and fun stuff to it. This is the centre. I love this. I love the way it sits. It's just so flat. It's really, it won't stay that flat. We know that. But yeah, it was really, really fun to put together. So I'm trying to get some inspiration here. I've got a letter. I've found a letter to Betty. Um, if you don't know anything about the Betty letters, they were letters that I found when I was doing my journal in July. And I realised, so you can see in the playlist for the Indian Summer Journal, all of this. And I realised the whole saga started with this one page here. This is the spinner. You need to check out the spinner if you haven't seen the spinner. That was for nature. That is in the Indian Summer Journal. Really fun. And that was prompt nature. It was prompt 14, so number 14 for the spinner. Uh, we're liking the spinner. Lots of comments about that. Uh, this was the letter and um, inside, well this is an envelope which I've done. Inside was this fantastic old vintage letter and I had just put it in there because it had lost its envelope, you see, so I didn't know. So we had this letter and it started off and it got us all inspired because it was a... Um, so the lady was at home and the lady turned out to be Nellie Brown and her fond affectionate name is Brownie. They all call her Brownie and I'm saying they all because she was very popular in the community um, in Neston, which is Little Neston. That's a little hamlet or a little village in Neston, which is a town outside of Liverpool, England. And so that's... Um, that's where the story began and this was Dear Betty and uh, so if you'd like to hear me read that, that is on the Indian Summer Journal and I will leave the link for that one here. The letter began in 1968, that Betty is no longer with us but her letters remain and so that was friendship that has gone through Years and years and years being kept and appreciated. Now you only keep something special as that for very special people that enter your lives. And so now I'm going to read another one and we can see if I can get inspired to put down something in my journal, potentially using some of what's here and uh, hopefully we can all just feel some inspiration while I just tidy up as I go and find the letter because it's in here somewhere. Um, so Nellie Brown was unfortunately unwell. That's how the story started. She was having to go to hospital, but she hadn't got there yet. 
and in those times there wasn't always a bed available at the Chatterbridge Hospital where she ends up having to stay. She stays there for a month and the cycle of letters is, is all from Nellie Brown and it's all set in the month of um, June and July over that period of time and in August she comes out of hospital. Then the letters stop as you would expect because she's all, she's home, why would you need to write letters when you can visit? So they don't, so the letters are kept and squirrelled away and we get the sense from some, some of the writing is a shaky hand, shall we say? And we know that she was trying to write from her bed um, in hospital which also might be why there was a shaky hand, but um, we, I get the sense that Nellie Brown was elderly. Still very much able to write a good letter. Ruford, Ruford Hospital, and this is on Saturday in 1968. Now, I have got a envelope for this one. That's that's an advert, actually. That's quite interesting. Southport Flower Show, August 28th, 29th and 30th. That's, that's that. Nothing to do with the postage mark. What we want is this bit here, which we can't read because it's quite faint. But it's 7th, 29th, beg your pardon, 29th of the 7th. So that is 29th of July, right. And if we go back in 1968, we're at the end of July... And this is the letter that we've received in 1968. My dear Betty, I received your note this morning. Dear, I was so pleased you were lucky with the buses getting home. It was lovely to see you, but the time goes too quick. There is a nice little girl come in. She has five children and she's fed up. And she was going to go home. Anyhow, her and I went for a walk yesterday. We walked through the fields to the Kespeth post office. It was quite near that way. I wanted one or two little things and then we walked back just in time for 3.30 cup of tea. Of course, I have to ask for permission. The weather is being nice and the lady had a Bad night last night. I do what I can for her, poor thing. I told her you were asking about her. I have a feeling Mrs. Fruitree might come today. The sister's son-in-law may bring them. Oh, I hope they don't all come tomorrow. Got a letter from Fanny this morning. She's, she's staying with her youngest daughter. She says she's been unwell, doing too much with her WVS. That's the Women's Voluntary Service. So I won't be seeing them. Never mind, dear. Only another week, then home. So keep your chin up and don't work too hard. Kindness regards to the girls and Chris, also Bert. Bye-bye for now, love. See you soon. Be good until I come home. Your pal, Nellie. And three kisses. Ah, oh, Nellie Brown. So Nellie Brown is coming out of hospital and that is in July, end of July. So she comes out in August and then she comes home. Then there's no more letters from Nellie Brown because the friendship can continue because they don't live very far away. She's quite the um, driving force within the village that she rallies them all round to go and have a look, go and look after her. And um, and so that's wonderful. So what I'm now thinking is the walk. I like the fact that she was able to go out for a walk and she walked through the fields and that's what we know. So that that's the sort of vibe that I want to uh, try and hang on to there because that's that's a lovely image of her all stuck in that hospital in July when it's sort of muggy hot weather over here in England um, and even if it's raining which she does report they've had awful storms that's going to be that humid sort of horrible um, not a nice heat that oppressive humidity and so to get out on a nice day as she reports would have been absolutely just the well, the tonic that's also mentioned in the first letter that she's given. I'd love to know what was in that tonic. <laughs> um, but...
but she uh, she does get out and into the fresh air and there's nothing nicer is there when you're just feeling a bit low to go walking through the fields so that's obviously that's given her a boost and that's made her feel better right so i'm in so thinking about wanting to do my repair here thinking about the the fields and the walk and that being a, a breath breath of fresh air um i'm going to try and have a sense of that i'm going to look at the prompt today think paint and peonies um and i might consider getting the paints out Whew, so let's begin okay. i'm also trialing some new glue today Prit stick solvent free 90 percent natural ingredients all-purpose glue pen it's a pen with a funny mm. i don't know we were so so we're trialing it anyway we were getting on really well with you who it's coming to the end of it though i think uh, i'm getting to the end of that one i don't know if i have to remove any caps or anything oh no just get on with it okay let's try it then Okay. Oh, all right. It's got a little inbuilt spreader. Oh, now see, that would have been perfect for our connector hinges, hinge connectors, wouldn't it? It's a bit wet. Obviously, it's a wet glue. Oh, I don't think it's going to last me very long, guys. <laughs> How much do you get? 23 grams. Oh, okay. You sparingly then. I, I'm not disliking the applicator, so I'm thinking now I could just put my clear P, my PVA in this sort of applicator. Right, okay, fine. Fine, it can stay for, for five minutes. We'll see, give it a full test, <laughs> the full five minute test. If I can't stand it, it gets thrown across the room. But it's Prit Stick, so we're hopeful that it's going to stick and do what it says it should do. So I'm just laying down some paper there. Right, so let's think. Right, she's stuck in a hospital and oh, she's escaping. She's escaping for a day out with a friend or, or a lady that's also in the hospital. And it oh, must be a total break for her if she's got five children at home. But also, what a worry. Yes, I agree with Nelly. She, that is a worry, isn't it? All your children at home and you're stuck in hospital. But you've got to make time for you. Otherwise, uh, you know, you have to make time for the illness if you don't make time for the wellness. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Otherwise, you can't help anyone else, can you? Right, I, I'm just feeling brown packaging at the moment. I don't know why. Why would I feel that? Well, we're dealing with letters and we're dealing with parcels and things in the hospital perhaps being wrapped up. Oh, well, I can see me using this up <laughs> on just this page, I think. Oh, dear. So I just want to cover up that sewing. I love this parcel packaging when you get it. It's just that that real sort of good quality parcel packaging paper. I'm such a nerd when it comes to things like that. Like, oh gosh, look at it. Look what he's wrapped in. The most amazing packaging. Quick, save it. <laughs> save it. That's maybe the paper bag that housed the little things, the one or two little things that she wanted from the post office. So what would that be? Stamps, paper and envelopes obviously but then probably something that she might not have been normally allowed particularly if she had to ask for permission to leave the hospital grounds or wherever she was to go to the post office now if she was anything like my grandma and she would have been because she'd be the same age range and my grandma's no longer with us and neither is betty oh uh and nelly brown would have been even older but i bet she had a little something extra from the post office wouldn't you have thought and she might have picked up a magazine what else she might have picked up a few little sherbet lemons or 
barley sugars. What else would they have had? Um, humbugs and the sweets that are in the jars. You got those in post offices because that you know for the children and for the you know anyone who wanted it. So this is feeling a little hospitally with its officialness and its green. I've got a little bit of foam book here, so that kind of gives that feeling of, you know, trying to get in touch when you're stuck away from home. Lovely. And then I want to bring in the fields. So I've got this summer, summery paper. I've got a bit of book page, so perhaps we're able to read a book or a magazine perhaps picked up from the, the not the news agents but the post office because they would have maybe had a newspaper she could have had or I don't think she's she doesn't describe to me as a sort of person that is up for current affairs but she might definitely be up for a barley sugar and a, a rhubarb and custard and um and maybe the local magazine, if that was possible, you know, what was going on. Uh, she was definitely one for knowing what was going on and most certainly didn't like to be out of touch and stuck away in a hospital. Oh, my goodness, no way. Can't, couldn't wait to get out, but then that's all of us, so nobody wants to be stuck in a hospital. Look. Lovely. Really nice, nice tear and... Um, in most directions as well. So that is uh, napkin over wax paper. So this is the point of, of it where it looks awful. <laughs> and uh, everybody goes, right, where is she going with that? And I, I, um, I concur. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, then she might have had a bit of a game of bingo with some of the other ladies. So we could have the bingo down there. I am just trying to make my scraps work for me. What's this? Ah, uh, this is letter writing. This is a bit of digital kit. This is like a fragment of letter. I think I'm starting to just want to revert back to my glue stick. Got a different colour letter here. This comes from the Rach and Bella digital kit, so I've just got some remnants of the digital kit left over. And when you have a project, you often end up with some nice scraps, which will then obviously make a page. If you haven't seen this, this was my journal that I made for the collaboration. So it all ties up. I'll show you that in a minute. And this is a, a five hole pamphlet stitch and that is the outside with the charms and this is just being packaged up I've got it all undone here because I was just going through it and making sure everything was lovely and neat um, for the lady who's won it so that's um, Bija so well done Bija and uh, congratulations for winning the lovely little journal here that I've made for the Summer Bloom collaboration. There's some ephemera pieces in there for you, some very old, uh, over a hundred years old uh, letter in there and um, I don't want to get it anywhere near this glue so I am packaging this up for you tomorrow and congratulations because this is off to the Netherlands and so we're doing very well and I've got um, Maggie's has gone off, the washi tape was claimed so that's gone off to Maggie in New Zealand and uh, and this is going off to the Netherlands, so we're really going all over. All, we're going places all over the book, yeah. So I like that. And then that was the back with a little bit of decorative. I've put gold on it as well, so I was really pleased with that. And it's a nice, it feels nice in the hand. Um, so you can write your lists and things. So yeah, thank you for watching and taking part and supporting. And uh, it's wonderful that uh, that that's been. Uh, one and, and even better that it's been claimed so well done for writing in Bija I, ha I hope that you enjoy it you've uh, written a very nice email and comment so I'm sure you will right I think I think we've trial run that one 
quite successfully. I'm going to now, because it is uh, it is a bit messy, so um, I'm going to step away from that now. And so we are go we've got a couple more letters from the Bet. I've called it the Betty Saga because it did it really. You know, they had the Betty Saga was sort of looking after Nellie Brown. Well. You know, when you're friends with somebody, that is just what you do, isn't it? You would walk over hot coals for some people, and uh, obviously, this is one of those friendships. So my washi tape is off. Uh, that went off with the post lady today. Um, I took it down there to the post office, and uh, I made it all pretty on the on the front. So they they never fail to sort of annoy me. <laughs> So when I've, you know, I've spent the time making the envelope look pretty, not for the post lady, of course, for whoever it's going to, um, and for my own you know, peace of mind, I like things to go out the door looking nice. Um, <laughs> it, I just, I don't know, all I, w all I would like is just a raised eyebrow. That's it, just a, oh, that's nice. No, nothing. They are blank, they are... Get on with it. That will be and tell you how much it is. Oh, not even a not even a raised eyebrow for the collage <laughs> and the the extra effort of. I think they've been in the job too long, haven't they? And I just expect. I just I don't know. I was expecting somebody to go. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> just didn't happen. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, hopefully Maggie will appreciate it. I know she will. I know we do. We 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 love to receive our snail mail, don't we? And it's uh, it's just a bit special when you get something through the post and somebody's made an effort, put a sticker on it, or just oh, just um, oh, giving it a, anything but boring and something through the door. Just it it is. It's like it's like a walk in the in the fields, there's a walk in the gardens, it's a breath of fresh air, receiving receiving something through the post and somebody's taken the time even even to put a picture stamp on the thing um, now and nowadays, not just any old stamp or one of these printout ones from, from the computer or the self-service, but a, an actual picture proper stamp like the ones that I like to collect the ones that just show images from from nature or the country or popular culture and to yeah just to not even get a raised eyebrow oh dear okay so I think uh, asking to take to take a photograph of her with a wave and the parcel uh, might have been a step too far. <laughs> so we haven't got that. Um, but we have got the postage fully put onto the right parcel and it to go off to New Zealand, which is very exciting because that's a long way. And she did say that uh, she did say with a note of pessimism in her voice that it. Uh, she says, well, I, I'm supposed to tell you it's six days. But it may take longer. Oh, OK. So, Maggie, you're on monitoring duty. So it was sent on the 10th of August. And you can let us know if uh, Grumpy Post Lady needn't have been quite so grumpy or pessimistic about her her guesstimation of when your parcel will arrive. So she said we're supposed to say six days. <laughs> but it may take longer. But OK. So Maggie, could, can you confirm if it takes longer? And let us know when you receive the parcel. Oh, dear. Right. We're trying our best, aren't we, to send some kindness and love around the world and just get everybody back to feeling... A little bit more happy about life that uh, I know we're all going through it in our own ways for all the things that that we do have in the background so peonies right okay peonies now I have produced a freebie <laughs> and um, it is available 
with the link on my description below on my Kofi page. That's K O hyphen F I and the links below to take you straight to it. And I've put together a little freebie of some monochrome peonies. Uh, so this is monochrome flower here of a daffodil. But that was printed out onto tracing paper. So you could download the freebie and you could print it onto tracing paper like I've got here. I'll show you what it is in a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the peonies or a peony that I think might work on this page. And then we can have a look what that might look like. And then the option is there if you want to make a tag or something out of the pennies. I'm just going to add a little bit of this sewing paper for the muted. I don't really want the writing. It's quite, quite a nice surface. And so we'll just trim that off at the top and then I'm going to add some peonies. So the next thing to do, or the next thing I'm going to do, is have a look at some peonies. I've got some black and white ones here, monochrome ones. I'm going to fussy cut them out and then I'm going to paint them. That's my idea because that's the prompt that has just sort of inspired me a bit. That's the only one I wanted to do. And if you wanted to have a go at this, then the freebie is up on my Kofi page and you can or cut coffee coat Kofi uh, the link is one of the first links you come to so you can go to the link tree and you can click on the buy me a coffee that's that and in there there's all sorts there's I've got the gallery of pictures where you can see what I've got going up there I'm going to try and use it a bit more and put uh, things there up there ahead of time so maybe some of the pictures might go up before the video so it's a good place to go and check and certainly you can see some more detail and up up and close with the images if you see anything I make I'm trying to put things up there and there'll be a little bit more close-up image imagery so you'll be able to see more detail perhaps sometimes you can't always see that on the video especially right at the end it, it's not up there for very long because it can't be. Um, so it's quite good to go to the coffee, Kofi, where I've got the gallery going on. And then, yeah, these peonies are up there as a freebie. It's a bit of a trial to see how we get on. I've never uploaded anything, any digital file up there before. So if anyone can just go and get, get it off and just test it, it's sort of like a guinea pig thing really, just test whether or not that worked, that would be great. So this um, edge is quite reminiscent of the um, pink of the natural dye from the avocado, so that's how, why I wanted that. And the background is a cream colour as well, so you can tear cream elements and pink elements and as well as, as the flowers. So it's just, a, it's just a little freebie, but there are some nice things there and obviously that's going to work quite well with this mute, muted tone background. I'd like to take that sort of watercolour image there, rip away some of the black bit that I've got there. And that's quite a nice bit for somewhere, poke out just uh, maybe like that. And, yes, so I think I'll fussy cut a few more of those out. I've got the small ones. So there's three designs. There's that one, that one, and the closed one. And then I did three in the smaller size as well. Okay, so I'm just going to glue down that pink piece that came off of the freebie digital. So put that in. I don't want to see any sharp edges but, and then I'm going to have that there and that so there. yeah I don't know in the fields or in the gardens Nelly might have seen some peonies growing um, or she would have certainly seen some summer flowers 
and in the fields that's just space isn't it that wonderful expanse of space where you just feel oh freedom you've been cooped up in hospital um so she's got a heart condition we we do find that out but uh you know she's at the moment she's doing nicely okay so during lockdown i bought a set of watercolor paints and um well, I can tell you that in 2020, I've used none <laughs> and I only used that the other day to do some splatters on a page. So these have sat here completely redundant, which is such a shame because they're absolutely beautiful. So today's the day, isn't it? Where prompt says paint, you've got to use paint. Well, sometimes you need these things to just tell you what to do. Um, I think they all look absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's a luminous. Okay. That's why I'm supposed to... Oh, I've used the blue. That's what I did in 2020. And the white. So there we go. <laughs> so you're supposed to put them up there. So had I read that properly... Neon pink. See, you should have seen that. Right, okay, I don't really want neon pink. Well, I might do. You never know when you need a neon pink. <laughs> uh, right, how about crimson, car, um, orange, cerise. No, let's go with a bit of... Oh, that's nice. Let's go with that. So earlier on, if, you, uh, if you've if you been following along or watching any of my videos right from the beginning, you'll know that I was very intrigued to grow my peonies in the garden for the first time ever. And so now I am painting my peonies, uh, which was something that brought me a lot of joy in my garden. Of course, my garden is not looking quite so spectacular now because it has been singed by the sun it looks like someone has taken a flamethrower to the lawn and the roses have been torched but back in May <laughs> it looked amazing with these peonies and I put a photo of them at the end of my videos and I was really pleased. So with this, with this freebie, you just sort of put the paint on because the shading, the shadowing, everything's been done for you so you just need to colour them in. And this is quite fantastic if you've got a, got a few paints that uh, are lying around. And peonies have a gradient of colour. They sort of change colour um, and mine started to go a bit orange so I think we'll I need a bit of a better paint palette here to mix the colours but uh, I haven't got it so we'll just go with what we have in front of us I mean acrylics would be nice as well but I think I need something gentle in this journal because I I do want to keep it in keeping with what's on the front and I don't really want neon pink. So I'm going to just knock down some of this with the white gesso here. I'm just doing a little bit of um, mixed media. What else wants a bit? I just want to take the colour down a wee bit. Uh, I don't want this bright. I'd like it peeping through, that's fine, but I don't want it to take away from the peonies. I think these little bits come out. Yeah, so funny how I went to the post office today and then we're reading the letter about uh, Nellie Brown also going to the post office and I suppose going to the post office isn't something that we've been readily able to go and do in recent years. So to get back into 
that and, and I have recently discovered a more traditional post office. I always went to the one in the town and now there's a more of a village, uh, one that where we moved, didn't even know it was there. Crazy, it was there all, all along and I was able to pop in there today and post my letter and I had the children with me and they had friends and so they went and had an ice cream and that was all nice and it's just sort of, oh yes, what, what did Nellie Brown pick up? What were the few little things that she needed from the post office? So that's just made me think. And of course, when you're posting things where well, you're going to buy your stamps and, and, and get all of that, but you're also probably sending your letter with your bright pillar box um, you know, all these reds that we've got up here. This is the bright pillar box red. What's that? That's a neon red. Oh, I wonder what neon red does. Let's have a look. Where does that take us? Ooh. So sometimes you do, you, you might want to pop of these colours because they just add a little extra depth. I mean, it's watercolours, so things are a bit more translucent. And of course, flowers are a bit like that. I'll just go on the understanding that we have dark at the bottom coming up to the light. Let's do that. I don't suppose it matters if I come off a bit here, does it? That's quite nice. down that green colour. Oh, well, this has relaxed me now and I shall go and have a really nice night's sleep now because I can relax from from the day and all the all the other stuff that I've had to do in the day. It's just a lovely way to unwind with a few little paints and uh, this is this is all here for you if you want to print it off. Have a little go with some paints. I'll do your first page and then um, I think we better just do that one as well because these sort of are reminiscent of poppies so maybe this was the poppies in the field um, maybe yeah, she saw the red poppies I've got purple now I don't think we want purple but I can't help myself oh violet there we are so that's sort of a purpley one and then I think we'll bring in come in with the red because that's like um, the poppies in the fields I've got this here this is um, this washi tape that Maggie's having and um, this was my one, so I'm just going to show you that these are great just to tear off a bit of washi tape. And then that is perfect just to add something down there, a little bit of another direction of text. Well, I think this one is jumping out at me. It's not a very big one, but it says memories are meant to be made not forgotten and I think you can make memories by sending words of kindness at a post office and I think uh, you can make memories by getting out into nature and then you don't need to forget them because you're journaling them onto a page. This is a very nice art book actually. It feels just feels nice the way it's all laying out. I'm very pleased with it. I feel there's probably something more I want down it here. Go very nicely with one of my little embellished pieces that we did the other day. Maybe something like that. Everything's a little bit damp and wet so we can start to think about things like that. So she went walking in a field with the poppies and the peonies through the gardens and um, I probably just want a British stamp. Oh, so it was me sending to New... Oh, but add that because that's New Zealand. That's where I was sending to. <laughs> and then Nellie 
was sending to the UK. This was the best one because of the colours. So there you go, Maggie. That's that was my experience of um, going today. And then I'm just going to find a UK one because that's what Nellie Brown did um, in her summer. Hmm. I think we just want a little bit of artistic uh, license here. White linen there. Hospital bed sheet, maybe. <laughs> I could always stamp something pretty on there, so that's an idea. All right, well, paint and peonies anyway. So it's coming along. I'm not saying that that's finished, but it needs to dry. But that was a bit of storytelling and what came out of it is quite fun. Um, so there we go guys, I hope you found that that was interesting and that you like listening to the letter. I've got another letter from Betty and then it is all going to lead on and tie on to another area of, of Neston and, um, and we'll bring all of those stories in and we'll start to hear about Harriet and Arthur. Okay, so I will leave you with that and I hope that you found fun and value here. Please do like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment if you have uh, found anything here useful or that you can help me in any way or you have any questions at all I'll be happy to help and above everything else guys just slow down and make crafting time for you bye bye now